What up dweebs, this is Mad Retro here. So today we're going to be doing a series that I like to call, or I'm going to start calling, is What I've Played. And in this edition, it's March. So I'm going to go through the games I've played, talk about them a little bit, maybe some I won't go fully in depth, but I'll just, you know, have some fun. Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Now this has been taking some of my time. I usually play with some of my buds. It's a western of course. So far I'm like a level 12 I think. I only have recorded footage of from the very beginning of when I started. I'm really bad at this game. Not always of course. But I'm also one of those people that just doesn't care so I'll shoot whatever and anything. So I have the most lowest morale. Morality. Whatever it's called. I don't know I always get it confused. But uh... My friend's a bounty hunter so sometimes we'll do some missions but I've been you know collecting money and leveling up. So it's pretty entertaining. I enjoy it. No more room in hell. Now this game is difficult as hell. Like extremely. Like you're going to be in hell. You know I was playing with some friends. One I should say. He has a YouTube channel as well but he doesn't post anything. Loser. Um, but Arctic Assassin in HD or whatever. My friend in Colby. No biggie. But yeah no we uh, have some entertaining times. Well, I placed it in it. Uh! Liam. I'm dead. There's so fucking many. There are accidents, of course. You know, sometimes you just get in. He just people just get in the way. Uh, but it's a zombie game. It's difficult. The one complaint I have, though, so I hope they fix this in the second game, is when I want to do a private server with somebody, you have to get your own VPN. And um, I found a free one. Kind of risky, I know. But everything seems to be working fine on my computer. Why does it have to be so difficult? I just want to play with my friends. But other than that, great game. Tetris. It's Tetris. It's a fun, great puzzling game. I was playing this on my SNES with the Super Game Boy uh, attachment. It's fun, enjoyable. I played for maybe like 30 minutes. The Hong Kong Massacre. It's like Max Payne and mixed with Hotline Miami slash Matrix. It's uh, quite fun. It's a little repetitive, but I felt like that for Hotline Miami as well. But if you're looking for a story, there is kind of a story, but it's not that important. You're really there for the gunplay, for the explosive damage and destructible environments you can get into. It's very much like a John Woo film. Shellshock Nom 67. This I made a review about a couple weeks ago. If you want anything to know about it, you know, look it on my channel. I reviewed it. it I hated it. It was not fun. <laughs> the Chameleon Demo. Loved it. Loved the art style. I love that you can do from like kind of a PS1 era or you can do like an early 2000s. You can change the versions. I stuck with the PS1 version. Very pixelated, very blocky. I just love the environment. I love the atmosphere that it brings. It's very nostalgic. Even though I never really grew up on it, if you want something that's easy to play and get into, try The Chameleon. The story so far is intriguing. Not a ton, but it just grabs your attention. I mean, it's a course, it's a demo. Very short, but it took my, some, some time for me to figure out because it's kind of a stealth game. So you really got to make sure you don't get hit. Um, I think I kind of know where the story is going. A little predictable, but hey, it's a game. Enemies, scare me. I hate the noises that they make. Don't know why he had to make them so scary. Or whoever made them. I don't even know what the developer's names are. Um, the punch. You're punching. What, what are you, goddamn Superman? Map is huge. Um, it's really extensive. It's a very maze-like game. I would say it's good that they have good checkpoints um, because you're going to need them. I kind of don't understand. So you pick up these like little energy orbs and I don't know what it really does because you run out of energy and like, I don't I guess it's energy. You run out of it too quickly, I think. And I understand it's a stealth game. You really got to work on your, the traits and just everything it gives you to figure it all out. But whole, I don't, it's, it's, it's annoying. But overall, excited to see more. System Shock Demo. Breathtaking. I've never played the original at all, but oh, the lights, the shadows, the music, just sitting there.
the first time I played it, 30 minutes, I died. And I was like, okay, well, combat's a little difficult. Mess around with some settings. And then later on, and then the next day I played it. And um, holy wow, I liked it even more. It really, it just, it gives off a mystery and you love it. The only annoying part, you can't save during the demo. So when you die, you're just dead. So that was a little irritating, but yeah. But the only gripes I have is for combat. It's like you go in for a swing and it feels like the enemy, if there's no stun, the enemy just hits you. You can run backwards and dodge it, and then sometimes you can't. It's very wishy-washy, so that's, I would say, my only gripe I have. I enjoy that it doesn't hold your hand. It really lets you get into the mystery. Sometimes it'll help you out, but overall, eh. I've heard the original is way difficult, but it's like just really painful to get into. So I don't know if I ever will. I've heard the second one is way easier. So I might try that one out. But I'm definitely, I think when this remake, I guess you can call it, I am definitely will get it when it comes out. So that's it for March. It'll be a series that I probably will do for every month. And if I forget to do month, one month, then you know, whatever. Of course, there's been a lot of games I've been trying to get into. I have a lot of systems. And it's really difficult because anytime I want to get a system out, I have to plug it all in. I don't really have a switcher or whatever. Uh, I'm not really fully set up. But, you know, what you going to do? But other than that, I definitely will be doing this more. I've been playing a lot of games, and I'm excited to do my next reviews and uh, see where this goes. Thank you all for watching. Hit that subscribe button and that like, and we'll love to see you back. Adios.